Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jin Zhao. I'm the technical support at Aver Media Technologies. Um, for today's webinar, I'll go ahead and go over um, how to simplify video sharing with live streaming technology. And uh, for today's agenda, uh, we'll be going over um, Aver Media Company profile first. Um, I'll just be going through the background uh, of Aver Media and what products we carry. And then I'll be talking a little bit about the streaming technology um, for today's world since um, internet is so popular and um, IPTV is um, such a popular way to transfer video files nowadays. And then I'll be going through um, a few of our popular, um, popular products in IPTV and also capture solutions. And then last, I'll be going through a few of our success stories, um, some uh, applications uh, by our customers uh, in the education field, uh, religion, digital signage, and also healthcare um, infotainment system. Um, all, all of those industries will apply IPTV um, using our products, so I'll be talking a little bit about them. And last, uh, if you have any questions, um, go ahead and sub submit them um, in the chat, and then I'll try to answer them at the end as best as I could. Um, all right, so um, let's get started um, for Aver Media. Uh, Aver Media Group, uh, we carry three main target uh, products, uh, multimedia products, consumer electronics, and also internet TV products. Uh, for multimedia products, um, we have mostly capture cards and TV tuners. And then consumers, uh, consumer products involves gaming products, um, digital video recorders, uh, and then for internet TV products, uh, we have our IPTV encoders and IPTV servers. Um, Every Media was founded in 1990, um, about 23 years ago, and uh, we have offices worldwide. Uh, we have 13 offices worldwide. Um, so if you have any um, international projects, um, you don't have to worry about support. Uh, we'll have an office near um, your project location if you need any time to support. Um, our headquarters is in Taiwan, and all of our, our RD are also back in Taiwan. Um, Avery Media's core technology started 20 years ago with uh, uh, focusing on TV tuners and also capturing TV signals. Uh, for TV tuners, we support signals worldwide, uh, including North America's ATSC, Qualm, and also analog NTSC, or anywhere in the world. Uh, if you're in uh, Europe, that would be DVB-T. And um, with, with uh, capturing TV, tu uh, TV uh TV signals that will also uh, involve um, encoding, decoding, and transport, transcoding video files. And based on that, we expanded our products into uh, video capture cards and now into IP streaming, uh, which will encode, which will encode uh, the video files and send them to IP. Okay, now let's uh, talk about the streaming technology. Uh, what, first of all, what is streaming? Um, streaming is to pass through video and an audio content um, using the internet to broadcast and let any, uh, anyone with the internet connection to be able to watch your content, watch or listen to your content, um, either live or on demand. Um, by on demand, I mean like uh, YouTube, uh, the streaming, and by live, I mean uh, if any of you guys are familiar with uh, Ustream or Twitch TV, those are all live streaming uh, delivery networks. And uh, with streaming, people can watch your shows uh, live, so you can spread your audience to anyone in the world as long as they have an internet connection. Now, how does live streaming work? Uh, with live streaming, there's uh, mainly four steps. Uh, first is obviously your content, uh, where you're looking to stream, um, where you're looking to spread, what type of information uh, you're looking to pass on to your audience. And once you have the content um, available, um, you need an encoder. So basically something that will transfer your content and then deliver it uh, into the internet. And then third, uh, you will need a content delivery network. That is actually a server that will be broadcasting your content um, on the internet. So that's something different than an encoder. Encoder is something that you, that you will need 
um, to first encode the video files for it to be available um, on the internet. And then lastly uh, is the client device. Basically where um, your audience will be watching your contents on. Um, similar like a TV, you can also use a TV to watch um, internet uh, TVs uh, by using an IP set box. Or second, the most popular uh, client device is obviously the PC, the computer. And then now with mobile devices and iPads so popular, uh, you also be able to use those um, as client devices to watch um, your live streams. Uh, the benefit of live streaming, uh, obviously, since it uses the internet, um, you can stream your content um, live um, to anywhere and anytime um, to any compatible devices uh, around the world. Um, another benefit of live streaming is uh, also you don't have to attend these live events in person. So you'll be able to provide your content to uh, unlimited viewers um, on the internet. Another benefit is that with the use of IPTV streaming, um, since most of the people will be using PCs um, to watch your live stream, they will also be able to chat about it. And with chatting and forums and opinion sharing, um, they will be able to spread um, your content even further and be stored on the internet. Okay, next um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the solutions um, Avery Media provides. Um, Every media company has um, consumer products available, like I talked before, such as um, the uh, DVRs, TV tuners, capture cards. And then for commercial products, we have our streaming server encoders and the SDK capture cards. Now with the uh, video streaming solution, we have our um, encoders mainly. Uh, our most popular encoders are the uh, F-Series. They are the ca uh, compact encoders that supports um, HD, HD signals and SD signals. Um, we also have um, server units available if you're looking to stream uh, multiple channels um, into your LAN and onto the internet. <laughs> and playback devices, like I talked about, um, will include the mobile devices, computers, and even TVs. Um, here I'll have a, a short clip of video, you know, introduction for our most popular unit, the uh, F239 um, Avercaster HD Duet. Um, for that unit, it's a very compact, small device um, that's capable of encoding up to two channels um, of HD uh, in 1080p, and then stream it directly onto the internet or into your local area network. Um, so go, let's go ahead and get this playing.
right. Um, so in the video, you see that uh, with our FQ39, it's extremely easy to set up. Um, you most of the devices are plug and play. Um, you're plugging your um, content into our Avercaster, and it will do the encoding for you, and then um, transfer the video signal into IP and deliver it to your network or onto the internet. Uh, Management-wise, it's web-based management, so there's no software or driver that you need to download, um, so you don't have to carry anything with you um, to set up the Avercasters. And here in this slide, we have our um, product lineup for the Avercaster series. Um, on the left side, we have our Pro4U uh, rack servers. Um, for this, um, it mainly supports uh, TV signals and also uh, standard, standard definition channels um, for up to 12 channels simultaneously. And then in the middle, we have our uh, Avercaster 1U servers that supports HD channels, uh, mostly um, from HDMI component and also uh, HD, SDI, or SD, SDI. And then on the far right, um, which we saw in the video, is our uh, Avercaster F series, uh, the combo series. Um, for that, we we support um, the, uh, the, the HD Duet FT39 we saw in the video supports two HDM, uh, HD channels from either HDMI or component. And we also have a F236, which supports TV signals and also standard definition. So um, we have a variety of uh, products available um, depending on your situation. And next, um, we're going to take a look at our capture solutions. Uh, we also have uh, capture devices available um, in case you want to record any of your content and then save it for uh, video on demand. And basically, capturing is very similar to uh, streaming. Um, all you need is a video source, um, a capture card, which will store all your content for you onto a PC or a hard drive. And then once the video is recorded, you can um, deliver onto the internet on VOD, or you can burn it uh, onto CDs, or just store them for uh, future viewings. Um, here I have another short video that introduces our, our capture cards. Uh, let's get that started. Okay, um, with traditional capture cards, uh, with traditional um, cap capture cards, um, you have to record, upload, convert, and then archive those videos. But now with our Avery Media capture cards, you will be able to do that um, with just our cap with, with our capture cards. It will record, upload, convert it into the format you want, such as MP4 or AVI, and then archive it, save it into your system for you. Um, all with just one card itself. So you no longer have to do all these um, steps separately, which will save you a lot of time. And with our capture card, similar to our um, Avercaster streaming service, um, we have a variety of capture cards from um, HD and also to SD. Uh, on the far left, 
uh, we have our Dark Crystal HD SDK Duo, which supports two channels of HD capturing simultaneously in 1080p. And then in the middle, we have the uh, Dark Crystal again. Um, for this one, it supports HDMI and VGA or DVI. Um, this card is meant for education channels, since a lot of uh, professors would like to capture um, their PC screens or lectures, and most of the, uh, the uh, inputs available for education are VGA. So you'll be able to record all your uh, lectures um, with this card. On the far right, we have um, our standard definition capture card for uh, S-Video or Composite. And with uh, SDK, it means that all these cards are open sourced. So if you're looking to use um, a capture card that's compatible with your capturing software, I know there's a lot of uh, popular um, educational um, lecture capturing softwares out there. And those softwares will be able to utilize our uh, SDK capture card since it's open source um, to, you, to be used with your software and be able to pick up the signal and record uh, the lectures for you. And now, how can SDK help you? Um, I already talked about a few points in the previous slide. But what SDK does, if you're looking to um, develop your own software, um, all these features will be available for you, um, such as the interlace, color adjustment, um, video size downscale, um, overlays, uh, capture the buffer, if you're just looking to preview these images or video files. Um, so as I said, for any system integrators out there, if you're looking to de develop your own software, um, all these options will be available uh, within our SDK. Okay, um, now I'm going to go into uh, a few success stories, application insurance. Um, currently, um, a lot of uh, fields use our, either a our capture card or IPTV encoders that include education, uh, education um, hospitals, religion, healthcare, uh, corporate, or even manufacturing if they're looking to test their video devices uh, with our capture card. 